Ruby Park is known as a place to make memories. Today, it was a place to make snowmen. This kid, not an expert. <laughs> but Michael Rubio is. Is it hard to make a snowman? Yes. What do you have to do to make one? So first you have to roll the first ball, and then the next ball, and then the next ball, and then you put the eyes, and then you put the nose, you put the mouth, and then you put the hat on, or the scarf, and you put the hands on the sticks. He makes it sound simple, but all that huffing and puffing says otherwise. <laughs> it's so freaking heavy. At six years old, Micah is basically a snowman architect. Heavier, 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 heavier. This is his third one today. It's so heavy. It's an art form that requires a bit of discipline. Her face is finally done. A lot of crawling around. Heavier, heavier, How am I going to fit this on? and some muscle. <sighs> Heavy lifting, brought to you by mom. We forgot the hand. Let's get the sticks. Get Two arms, a nose, and a mouth. I'm done with the snowman. I'm finally done. Now I'm done. A big relief, until an eyeball falls out. What? Oh, stick on there. A few finishing touches. Orc. Orcs. What's happening? Micah has made a masterpiece from Mother Nature's snowy gift. All right, you guys, I took some of the tips that Micah gave me. And I can't take credit for this little snowman. Tom Cole made it. It's amazing. It's gorgeous. Look at this little guy. Uh, Micah was telling me all you got to do to make a big snowman is to start small. I don't think this is what he meant. I think he meant to start with a small snowball and then roll it to be bigger. But look at this. I'll name him Alfred. Guys? <laughs> hey, you got to start somewhere. I love it. And, and that massive snowman? He did a good job with that. That's awesome. It is huge. Those, those snowmen were taller than he was. So that kid uh, definitely has a future as an artist of some sort. <laughs> All right, Brianna, thank you.